Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and actually welcome back to the Rainbow Solar System as well because we're actually back here today for another episode which one of you guys requested so you know who you are, many thanks for the idea but today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading to our brown coloured planet in the Rainbow System so we're heading to poop today <laughs> we're heading to this one today okay and what we're doing is we're going to be making it into a star because that's what um that that's what was requested so we're going to go ahead and do this we're going to do it do it do it, do it the old way because we've not done one of the making objects into a stars in literally ages it's been so long since we've made an object into a star because i sort of like ended that series since i thought it was getting a little too repetitive but we're in a whole new solar system now so we could sort of reboot the series if you guys want it like let me know should i reboot the series we could do an episode on making every single one of these well, not, not the moons, but the planets. We could do an asteroid and make an, every single one of these into a star. And just seeing what happens, like, to have some with the rainbow system. Because you guys really didn't like it, um, or really do like the rainbow system. So, might as well keep um, keep making videos on it if you guys enjoy it. So, yeah, let me know down below. But anyway, so what we're doing is, like I said, we're making poop into a star. So, do I have it saved as a custom object to begin with? No, it doesn't. Oh, no, I do. Okay. So, what we can do is, we can just do it the good old way. So, if you guys remember correctly... We are going to start merging them to make larger and larger objects. We, yeah, we'll slow down time, which we've done already. We're going to start doing this. So we're going to place a ton of these all here. And all those rings are going to get consumed as well. So there's that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to speed up time a bit. And we're going to watch these collide. And actually, one thing we should do is we should probably delete all the rings and asteroid belts in the system. Just so it doesn't freeze the simulation with all the collisions and objects going on because adding rings and stuff into the simulation is a real nightmare so sadly we have to remove those but it's not really a big deal since it probably all go out of order anyway once we start making this into a star so now we just need to wait for time to merge so we'll collide all of our poop together and make an even bigger one so <laughs> oh, that sounds so weird but as you can see there's tons of poop fragments here so oh that's quite cool actually well where's our um where's poop be here here it is <laughs> So this is probably going to get dragged inwards to um, the main planet over there. So as you can see, well, that is um, spinning quite rapidly now. So we're going to go ahead and keep merging these in, making bigger and bigger objects. And this seems large enough we can start eating Earths, actually, as well. So that's good. So let's throw some Earths in there. Why not? Throw a Venus in as well, Mars, M Mercury as well. Why not? No, they're not escaping. Don't you dare escape. There we go. Go back in. There you go. Where's that moon? We've got to keep an eye on that moon. I want that moon to get involved as well. So, yeah, we'll continue to merge those together. Just start throwing more and more Earths in there. Hopefully poop doesn't get too hot in temperature because we do not want it vaporizing because that would be bad. Wow, look how much stuff is going on here. Jeez, that is insane. Look at the temperature just rapidly go up. It's insane. Wow, this is insane. Okay. Oh, is that the moon there? Oh, that's Earth. Earth, get out of here. You you go in. There you go. Oh, some Roosh Limit tore up as well. Actually, we should do that. Let's, talk, let's test the objects up with Roosh Limit. Okay, the moon's still over there. We don't. We do not want that escaping. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to place some Earths here. Let's have Roosh Limit just tear them up. Why not? <laughs> Let's just do it. There we go. Calm Roosh Limit. Tear it up. Oh, one of them's already collided. Yeah, surely the um, poop's gravity should be able to tear some of these Earths up. I'm hoping, or maybe not. Okay, I guess not. What if we throw Mars a little further out? Maybe it'll tear that up. Come on, tear some objects up. Come on, please. <laughs> There you go, there we go. It's tearing them all up, so it's eating them all up. That's cool. Alright, um, let's throw an earth there, just so they um, get pulled back. Wow, look at all this. This is insane, yeah? We haven't done them. We should do, like, a whole episode where we try and make the object bigger just by tearing objects apart of Roosh Limit, because that'd be pretty cool. Alright, so there's that. Come on, keep, keep eating the earths up. There we go. I think earth's the largest planet we can feed it right now, so we'll keep doing that. Just spam the earths in. You can hear some intense mouse clicking, as you can hear. <laughs> um... Can we eat Kepler-69? Oh, it looks like we can. Wait, can we? Yeah, I'll say we can. Oh my god, what is going on? Damn, I can't see what's going on. We're going to have to delete the fragments. There you go. Alright, so poop is um quite large now. So let's um, lower this. Where's our moon at? Oh, our moon's escaping. No, you can't escape. Come back here. There you go. Actually, let's make the moon collide with the planet. <laughs> Come on, moon. Glide. You going to collide? Come on. Oh, it's, it's, that's really close, actually. Look at that. Okay, so there's our moon. Oh, and there you go, it's gone. <laughs> Looks like Roosh Limit just finished it off there and it collided. So, there's that. We've got some more fragments out here, but what we're going to do is we're going to double it up. We're going to add an extra... Yeah, we'll, we'll put this... Instead of being 10,000, we'll put it up to 50,000. There you go. So, let's just start attracting some of these objects back. And we'll also... We'll throw a random gas giant in. But as you guys know, I don't like throwing gas giants in because... 
you know from before, sometimes when we throw gas giants into some of our planets, the planet just completely disappears for some reason, so we're very careful with this. Oh, that's a nice coloured. Actually, no, no, it's not. No, that's not a cool colour. I thought it was all the same colour for a second. Alright, so, there's that. Oh, and it's a Nuskiski, of course. Okay, I'm not surprised. So, what's in there? Wait, hang on, what? Wait, how did poop get destroyed? It was bigger. Well, we're gonna have to get a new poop in. We're gonna make, we're gonna get um, some revenge going. So I don't even know what happened there. Poop was clearly bigger, I think. So go ahead and do that. All right, let's make this guy super big. Fifty thousand. There you go. Now it's clearly bigger. It's clearly, clearly bigger here. So we're gonna go ahead and have this happen. Come on, poop. Eel him up. Wait. Oh, whoa. What happened there? Seriously? Nasuski, I actually hate you. <laughs> well, it looks like um, we can't even climb with a gas giant. So like, like I mentioned. Colliding rocky planets with gas giants in these episodes. No, I don't want to rename it. Yeah, colliding these objects with um, um, gas giants just never works. What about that? There you go. Okay, see, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't have it. So, I thought it was going to have it that time. So, I guess we'll just have to delete you. And we'll just have to collide these guys together. So, actually, no, we'll just make it into a star now, actually. Might as well. You, you guys saw the process. That's pretty much the highest we can do it because we can't make it um, any bigger um, by colliding it with gas giants because if we tried it doing it with other rocky planets it would literally take forever so let's go with a mass of three suns to begin with and then let's give it a temperature of um, let's go with uh, 3000 why not and then um, luminosity we'll have to ch you change that um, here so luminosity so if it's a mass of about three suns so let's make the luminosity three suns as well just so it matches up so there you go then the radius as well, let's make you a little bigger, so let's go 1 point, yeah, 1.2 mil, I think that is. And there you go, so now we've got another star. Actually, yeah, since it is um, poop after all, let's make it a darker colour. <laughs> like, more of a brownish-orange colour, so let's have it around 1600 degrees. There, there you go, it's more of a dark, menacing-looking object, so... There we go, we've got like a red one now. Dark, or, uh, dark orange, red one, so we're going to hit play. We're going to slowly watch as this um, planet starts to consume... Whoa! Uh, I guess it doesn't want to be brown then, or the dark colours. So I guess we'll go with, well, okay, we'll roll with blue, that's fine. So, lost a bit of mass, but that's not already a big deal. The luminosity is still the same. So it's 23,000 degrees Celsius now. So, wow, look how many explosion marks are on here. If we just quickly um, turn the, um, what's it, the glows off. Look, look at all this. Look at all these object collisions. So, if we um, go out now into the whole rainbow system, let's see how the orbits start to get messed up, as we can see here. Let's just compare it to Snow White quickly. So this object has more mass than Snow White does. And it's slightly larger in size. So this is the new dominant star, I would say. So if we can get them to collide, that would be pretty good. So now we just have to um, watch as um, stuff happens. So we'll just go ahead and delete all particles. We don't need that trouble. So there is that. And now we just have to wait. So if we're having it four days here. So it looks like the first object to um, come is 2 aid. So 2 aid and 2 aid Mark II. Wait, what's going on here? Where's the regular 2 aid? Oh, no, that's because oh, it's 2 aid. Yeah, I remember I called it Mark 2. Okay, yeah, so this is on a collision course with our poop now. So there's that. Um, Carol is still over here. We probably should delete the moons of the planets just so we can get the simulation to run faster because it's really not a problem. As long as you not delete the main planet, uh, it's not really a big deal. So we'll just go ahead and delete the moons just to speed things up. So. Yeah, I, should, I probably should open the regular simulation next time we do this, if we do, if there is a next time, so, yeah, keep that in mind. Yeah, I'll do it in the system where I don't have any moons or rings or anything like that, just just for, so the simulation can run quicker. So, let's quickly just, yeah, let's um, go to Hermes here, let's go ahead and just delete all the moons, so just bear with me. Um, Zeus as well, probably one of the coolest planets, or one of my personal favourites in the system. And you can see here, it's starting to get a glow from another star. So that's gonna be pretty interesting, and it's still it's still glitched out where it won't. It just it still is a frozen planet, even though it's that just makes no sense. What if we really heat it up? I don't know. It's probably gonna warm up anyway. It's not a big deal. Is the water gonna melt finally? See, look, it just doesn't want to cooperate, even though it's at 200 degrees. That's just so weird. So there's that. Actually, let's just go in chart mode, just so we can um, get the moons. So right, none of these guys are moons, right? Uh, Hermes, Neptune. Um, Carry F. That's that's a moon. Let's just get rid of that. Right. Pretty dark. That's one of the coolest ones. Some of my favourites. Uh, Hazel. Carolee B. Let's get rid of U. Yeah, anything with B or A or anything. Get rid of that. So that's a moon. I know. I think that's a moon. Yeah, that that Pascal's a moon as well. Carolee E's a moon. Hades C's a moon. That's a moon. 
you're a moon. Yeah, it is a thing. Yeah, these are all moons. So let's just get rid of those. All right, now we've just got the planets left. So now the simulation should run nice and fast for us. So hit play. Yeah, now, now it'll run like double the speed. So as we can see here, 2 aid Mark II is on a very, very close call with the um, poop now. So let's um, slow down time a bit. Um, that's, that's a bit too slow. So speed up. Let's see, um, or let's watch as it has a very, very close call. As you can see, the temperature here is um, heating up quite a lot. So it's getting a very, very close call here. Look at that. Very, very close indeed. But it looks like it's going to escape. Yeah, and it has. Very lucky that. So, as we see here, it's still on a collision course with Snow White. So I really want to see that happen because that will really cause some trouble. So, let's see. All the orbits have changed again. Yeah, it runs a lot quicker now. Look, that's coming. Oh, that, yeah, that, that orbit there is changing quite a lot. And my voice is going a little weird, so let's get a drink quick. There we are, that's better. So, as we can see, 2 aid here is on a very, very rough um, orbit right now, which is pretty crazy. And then, Carolee over here looks like it's in a safe zone, but ooh, ooh, lucky I, lucky I paused that. The, the two stars are very, very close proximity to each other now, so hopefully we'll have a collision. So, let's slow down time a bit. Okay, there we go. Oh, they look, they are very close. Okay, I really want them to collide. So, let's see what happens here. Come on, guys, collide. You know you want to. Come on, please. Oh, are they breaking away again? No. I want them to collide so bad. The planets don't look too bad, though. If we just look here. Lucian there and 2A, they're the ones that have been affected the most. But all the other ones, and some of them are frozen. Hazel's frozen over. So, the orbits have been changed, but the gas giants and all the ones that weren't hatable in the first place, they're still relatively similar to what they always were. So there's that. But are these guys just stuck in a binary orbit now? That They get very close in that one point there. If we just um, try and get them at their closest point. So look at this. They're so close. We may have to manually move in here and make them collide. So if they're just going to be stuck in a binary orbit like this forever, that is going to kind of suck. So yeah, we do not want that. To aid on the other hand. Well, where are you at? If this, if this gets too close to the star at the point of when the other star's nearby, that could be quite bad. Wait, is it gone? Oh, it's been ejected. Has it been ejected? Oh, okay, that no, hasn't. I thought it had got ejected almost. All the stars. Keep an eye on those guys. Oh, there. These orbits are very unstable, I think. So, look at this. Right, they're going away. Now they're coming inwards again. Okay, let's have a look here. Okay, oh, look how close they get. It's like they eject each other, but then they attract each other back. So, what we're going to do here is, since this doesn't look like it's going to end, well, look how much... Um, like, solar flare... Is that a solar... Is that a solar... I don't even know what a solar flare is, to be honest. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, it's shooting out a lot of energy, let's put it that way. So, pretty crazy stuff. How are you doing? Yeah, that's still doing... Because that's a relatively similar... Like, that star isn't buggy or anything. That's a legit star there. So, let's um, wait till they get close to each other. And then we're going to zero velocity them. Then we're going to blow them up. Oh, my God. Whoa. Okay, slow down. Oh, they're close. And now, we're going to do this. Zero velocity. Oh, here we go. And then you as well. There you go. All right. So, this is probably what should have happened. And wait, is that orbit... Whoa. No. Oh, poor 2 aid is going to get right in the mix here. Look at this. Look how close it is to these stars. This isn't good. 2 aid is so dead. This is not going to survive, is it? This is going to get just destroyed by the Nova. Because this is for sure creating the Nova. Maybe we even get a black hole out of it. So, oh, well, they're attracting each other. They're coming towards. This is probably what should have happened. But the game, it's just the way the game works. Probably it didn't do this in the first place. But as we can see here, boom. And 2 aid looks like it gained a bit of mass, actually, from that Nova. But as you can see, we've got a purple-red-coloured Nova here. Tons of fragments here as well. But is this going to survive? Oh, apparently not. We're lo it, the radius was fine, but the mass has gone. Oh, we've got a new star created. Fragment star. Look, whoa! Look at all these stars. It created a ton of stars. Well, that really does sort of um, sum up the rainbow system, right? Makes tons of new stars and colour and stuff like that, I guess. So, let's see the orbits here. So, there's our Nova. All, all these new stars spreading out. Let's get some... Look at all these atoms. Whoa! Look at all these fragments. That's so cool. Wow, it's just like shooting stars now, pretty much. Look at this. Real shooting stars. Wow, that's, that's really cool, actually. So, there's that. Let's just go ahead and delete the Nova, because we don't want that around. Supernovas are a pain to deal with. So, yeah. Are these guys going to survive the Nova? Because even when you delete the Nova, the effects of it still take place. So... As you can see, Hades here is losing mass, and this is one of the largest objects in the system, so if it may just completely go. Whoa! Another nova just went off, the two stars just collided, so now we've created a sort of a chain reaction with these stars. So poor old Hades here, even though it was a large planet, just didn't handle it. So there's that. So who have we got left? 
Is this the last planet? Oh no, we've got Hazel and Carolee left, so how are you doing? Oh, that's losing mass as well. Oh, this could eliminate the whole system. Uh, Hazel, how are you? Oh, Hazel looks like it's alright. I think Hazel got ejected at the right time. Look, yeah, Hazel's escaping. One of the most escaped objects. Carolee's over there. And then Hermes, where are you? Oh, Hermes has also got a clean escape. Hermes is not even hot in temperature here, so... Looks like those guys are completely fine. So let's go ahead and delete the Nova again. But Carolee, I don't know if it's going to survive or not. So let's just speed up here. And it looks like it's fine. So the largest planet did survive, but it did have a severe mass loss. So that's pretty interesting stuff. So now if we just speed up time, the whole rainbow system has exploded into a bunch of new stars. <laughs> that's pretty crazy, actually. It's cool, though. Look at these fragments. How much stuff have we even got? This is amazing. Look at this. We've got some gas giant ones as well, but they're all similar. Look at this. They're all about, yeah, into that 80 to 120 sort of mark for Jupiter mass. So they're all stars. All legit stars. Then we've got some gas giants as well. There's Carolee there, I believe. Yeah. Then we've got Hermes and then Hazel. So these are the last three remaining objects, it looks like. Then we've got a bunch of stars and gas giants from that supernova collision. So Snow White and Poop made a bunch of new, um, new baby stars. So there's that. And there you go. So the age is getting older. Is the temperature going to cool down? Oh, the temperature is just bugged and stuck. It won't go any... Temperature doesn't want to go down for some reason. So that's pretty weird stuff. So there you go, guys. That is what happens if we make poop a star in the system and then we make it hit the main star, um, which was Snow White. So look at this. Look how many... That is a lot of... We don't usually get this. This is a very unique outcome because we don't usually get outcomes where tons of stars are made and then another set of them collide and stuff. But overall, that was a pretty fun video, actually. So, yeah, Carolee, Hazel, and Hermes are the surviving objects. Let's see if they survive next time. If you guys want, like, um, me to make more of the coloured system objects into stars, and just let me know in the comments. Do you want this to make me to make this a series, maybe, of them um, turning stuff into a star series two, or um, season two, I guess, since it's in a different solar system? Because I don't think I'm doing ones in the normal solar system anymore. I think they're just too similar. So, if we do it in the rainbow system, I'm the whole new... Um, set of planets to play around with so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments should i make season two of turning objects into a stars so, yeah let me know so yeah what um if you guys do want me to do this into a series what should i do next so we've got the white planet which is carolee we've got hades which is the gray planet we've got neptune which is the good old blue planet one of my personal favorites in here hermes which is orange which was one of today's survivors We've got Demeter, which I believe is cyan, so the turquoise colour. Hades B, which is the glitch, like the really weird glitched Earth, uh, which is upside down. That's um, the black planet, I believe. Yeah, that's the, that's the black. No, is that black? Oh, no, that's one of the moons, actually, I think. Yeah, that's a moon. Don't, no, don't ignore that. Um, yeah, that's a moon as well. Bloody, which is the most inner planet, a red planet. Zeus, which is our yellow planet. Then we've got, um, where's it? Aphrodite, which is pink. Karas, which is our green planet. Then we've got 2 Aid, which is the black planet we saw earlier in the episode. Then we've already done Poop. Um, Hazel, which is obviously the hazel green coloured one. Um, that's a moon there. That's also a moon. V Vastaras, which is a... Um, I think that's Indigo. Yeah, that's Indigo. We've got Lucien, which is purple. And then... Yeah, that's a moon as well. And then I think the rest of these are all moons. So yeah, there's that. Yeah, they're all moons. So yeah, let me know which um, or, or which one of the planets I should turn into a star next, guys. Because yeah, if you want me to do another a part two on this, just let me know. Because it'd be I think this all you, know, you guys will enjoy this. So yeah, well, tell me what you think in the comments. But anyways, that is it for today's episode. So if you haven't already subscribe, um, help us on the journey to two thousand because we are closing in on that two thousand mark really fast. I think we're almost at one point eight now. So completely insane. Just cannot thank you guys enough. It is awesome. And yeah, I just can't believe it. It's just so, so awesome. Just cannot thank you guys enough. I just appreciate it so much. So yeah, there's that. So make sure you guys all have a good day. Leave a like and subscribe and all that. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.